truth. I, I just thought it was, to me, something like that is a, is a compliment. Not, you know, it's great people thank, write and say thanks, thanks for teaching, thanks for taking your time to do this. Wonder, wonderful. See, something like that makes me realize that it's reaching people who were resistant to change at first. Very resistant to, to change. That's the people we have to reach, folks. You know, don't worry about me getting a little bit harsh, a little too harsh, or cutting off an, a, a, a supposed order follower. You know, that's the least of our worries, folks, believe it or not. You know, get out there and teach natural law to the idiots out there who are making the world a living hell. That's what you need to be doing. You, the listener. And teaching people that is the solution. To stop doing actions that are violent. To stop doing actions that are coercive. To stop following orders. It's about the entire lesson of this world is what we need to stop doing. Not anything new that we need to do. Again, people want to say, I want to hear solutions. First of all, I gave you weeks of solutions. Of grassroots solutions that people can get involved in to turn the entire dynamic on this planet around. The whole show is a solution. From the very beginning, it's solution-oriented. Because it's about changing the way you think. And when you change the way you think, the external manifestation follows. The problem is people are too attached to erroneous ways of thinking. They want to continue to offer justifications for all this immoral behavior. Because of some familial connection they have to an order follower. The Nazis did the same thing, folks. They thought, oh, my father's involved in the party. My grandfather's involved. My cousin's involved. My brother's involved. My son's involved. It can't be bad. Yeah. It's how every totalitarian regime begins. With support from family members. That don't want to admit that they were wrong and they got duped. We were talking about the lie of the moral order follower in the last few segments. We were talking about the, the justifications that people offer because they're somehow connected in relationships to order followers and how their ego has them thinking emotionally regarding these people instead of logically, instead of from a natural law perspective. Natural law does not care what justification somebody offers for immoral behavior. It's a computer program, folks. I don't know how much more clearly I could put it. It's the other thing people don't understand. The universe is based on law. Unwavering law that doesn't care why you did what you did. It only says... Did you, did, did you do this and it was immoral? It was based on coercion. It was based on violence and you had no right to do it. Yes or no? Well, if yes, here's the consequences. If no, here's the other consequences. That's it. It's a computer program of pure logic and law. And that's why it's not called natural suggestion. The laws of nature are not suggestions. They're unwaveringly they're unwavering, absolute laws that work 100% of the time, flawlessly at all times and places, everywhere in nature. Everywhere in the three-dimensional space-time continuum that we refer to as the universe. And people don't want to understand that. Because they want their mind to be God. They want their justifications to prevail. They want things to work the way they want it to work instead of the way it actually does. They can't get their ego out of the way. Because my father or grandfather was an order follower. And like I said before the break, the Nazis said the same thing, folks. So did every other totalitarian regime. You think those people didn't have mothers and daughters and sons and fathers, etc.? That, that, that somehow offer justifications for all the things they did? People can't see they're in the same situation. 
You're in no different situation than that. As a matter of fact, it's a continuation of the same people from the Prussian schooling system that became the Nazis in Germany, that came over here as part of paperclip and settled on throughout the whole United States. Tens of thousands of Nazis being brought in to avoid war crime tri tribunals so they would come to work for this sick criminal government. The OSS, which subsequently became the CIA, brought all these thousands of Nazis over here to work for, for us. And they, they settle in major cities in the United States and we wonder why they're taken over by total draconian Nazi and communist laws. Same thing happened with the communists. Came over and exported their whole outcome-based education system over here. The Frankfurt School and Antonio Gramsci, his plan, the long march through the institutions. We think we've defeated these regimes of Nazism and communism. They shook hands behind our back and said, so we're taking the America down together. We're going to crush their cultural institutions. We're going to make them immoral. We're going to drive a wedge between the sexes. Break up the family dynamics so we can get the children in the government indoctrination centers. Pollute their minds with collectivist propaganda nonsense. And people are too stupid to see the plan. They're too stupid to see it because it's a chess game that they're playing. And we're not even playing checkers. It's too psychologically sophisticated from a perspective of mind control for most punked idiots out there to figure out because they don't read they have no long view of history and they're still out there making excuses and justifications for murderers which brings me to the images I want to go through for tonight's show image number four with this podcast slash radio show is showing a so called rally that police and their family members had outside of uh, City Hall in New York City. And they are wearing t-shirts that say, I can breathe. I can breathe. The, the, the disgraceful nerve of these human vermin. It, uh, please scratch that. Take the word human out of there. They're just vermin. These are verminous scum whose mothers didn't raise them, whose fathers didn't raise them. Absolute trash. And I'd say it right to their face. And so should anybody that sees any part of this dynamic supporting a murderer. Images four and five show these Nazis wearing these Shirts, because that's what they are, Nazis. You want to take a look at what a modern Nazi looks like? Images four and five, they're right there. Oh, and six and seven show show it too. We'll get to that though. Mocking Eric Garner, who was choked to death for selling loose cigarettes. You know. That, that warrants you getting choked to death in, in modern USSA, in the, in the United Socialist States of America. You know, it doesn't make, make a difference whether you're uh, the, uh, talking about the National Socialist kind or the Nazi variant of socialism or the International Socialist kind, which is worldwide communism. They ultimately work through the same methodologies. It's ultimately the same system when you strip it down. No different. People who think that it's different are just idiots who don't read books, who don't understand that these systems are basically the same thing. It's all about just total control. They think Nazism or fascism, you know, is so different than communism when it's the exact same thing. It's all based on socialism. You know, it's just the only difference is in how we're going to divvy up these resources for ourselves. You know, that's all. How we're going to take and steal. 
We're gonna are we gonna do it through corp corporations? We're gonna do it through government? We're gonna do it through political parties? Or we're gonna do it through, you know, uh, labor unions? That, that's all. It's just a, diff, a disagreement in the methodology a little bit, but ultimately behind the scenes, it all creates the same thing, which is serfdom, slavery. The state owning everything, the people having nothing, abolition of all property, period, all property, including the self, including the body. And people are too stupid to understand that these entities shook hands behind the scene, came in here and said, we're going to take this country from the inside since we couldn't take it from the outside, militarily. Folks, if you can look at these pictures and not get angry, you are fundamentally broken. Is all, and that's all I have to say. And there are people out there, I know there are people out there, I'm, I know I'm talking to some of them right now, that cannot experience the emotion of anger. Because this is the over-feminization of both sexes through hormones that's pumped into the food. Some of the same hormones that are given to animals before they go to slaughter. And because of the atrocious diets of people, they are incapable of getting angry. The actual instinctual urge to protect and defend oneself from injustice and violence that's taking place against the, uh, the individual and the society cannot be felt. It has been selectively, actually, chemically bred out of a lot of people out there. And the New Age religion is another big part of that dynamic that you can't look at a Nazi telling you I'm happy that uh, uh, another one of my Nazi order following scum choked a, a, a human being to death for, because he was following his orders. Don't allow anybody to sell loose cigarettes themselves without paying us our you know, uh, slave tax. I was going through some of the images with the uh, broadcast for tonight, and we were on image four and five. For people that aren't familiar with the reference, um, I should just clarify that by saying, you know, uh, this is about this uh, man, Eric Garner, who was choked to death in New York City by a New York police officer that um, for the unimaginable crime of selling loose cigarettes on the streets of New York City without giving a uh, extortion tax to his feudal overlords, God forbid. I mean, you know, we, we really need to bring back the gallows for people like that, you know, and hang them high. Uh, he was choked to death by this cop who didn't have any action taken against him and is just out free, who murdered somebody on the streets of New York for refusing not to sell cigarettes. Loose cigarettes. Murdered. And there are people defending this action, saying, well, he was breaking the law. As if, like... A voluntary exchange on the street between two individuals for something deserves to get you choked to death. I mean, if you think like that, you are an immoral piece of garbage. And anybody that cannot get angry for seeing that this is taking place right in our midst, you are a broken individual. You're, there's something psychologically damaged inside of you. You need help. There is something wrong with you if you're not angry about what's going on in the United States right now and throughout the world for that matter. The ability to feel anger is a totally natural human response to tyranny. And the people who can't feel it, and there's people out there, I know they can't feel it in any aspect of their lives. They're so brainwashed. They're so brainwashed. 